Soros confessed in The New Yorker in 1995 that he had a messianic illusion, a sense of himself being superhuman, quote, since childhood, end quote. He saw in himself the many attributes of the God of the Old Testament, quote, God in the Old Testament has a number of attributes, you know, like invisible, I was pretty invisible, benevolent, I was pretty benevolent, all-seeing, I tried to be all-seeing, benevolent, all-seeing, but the one that sticks out here is invisible. You can see his ego on display when he talks about going after regimes, listen to it's a game. When you uh, try to, let's say, improve society, you affect different people and uh, different interests differently, and they, they are not actually commensurate. So you, you very often have all kinds of unintended uh, adverse consequences. So I had to experiment, and it was, it was a learning process. The first part was this uh, subversive activity, disrupting a repre a repressive regimes. Uh, that was a lot of fun, and that, that's actually what got me hooked on this whole uh, enterprise. Remember, he believes, and so do many in his regime, that Fox News is a repressive regime. America is a repressive regime. He is turning lives and countries upside down and inside out, and he loves it. He says in his own words he got hooked. He has to feed the addiction. So he decides to go after the biggest market yet, America. Quote, the main obstacle to a new world order is America. You are the main obstacle to what he wants, which is an open society, a replacement for the republic. Well, what does that mean for you? Well, he's talked about it. First, a managed decline of the U.S. dollar. His words, not mine. So a, 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 an orderly decline of the dollar is actually a, a desirable. Does that sound good to you? Does it sound good to you? How much, how much has the price of sugar gone up? How much has your gasoline gone up? Why? Why? Is there a shortage of sugar? No. Your dollar is being devalued. It is going down in an orderly way. Prices go up. Is that what you want? Let me play the clip that we just played one more time at the top of the hour. Listen to this. The question is whether we need and whether Mr. Soros and his foundations can help to bring more foreign influence into the United States instead of relying on what is essentially a balance between Democrats and conservative Republicans. I think you put your finger on the very important uh, uh, flaw in the current world order and and that is that only Americans have a vote in Congress and yet it is the United States that basically determines policy for the world okay that is a, a, a flaw in the, in the current setup okay worthless dollar global citizens who are voting on who represents us and what we do that's what George Soros and an open society looks like. When he's done with America, that's what you will have. Now, how does he achieve it? How does he achieve it? Well, we showed you these five steps uh, last night. He's collapsing the economies. He is, he is quite good at it, collapsing the economies. We showed you how he's doing it here in America. He's doing it over and over and over again, all of them. He's doing it, in his words, subversively subversively five steps to control you form a shadow government using humanitarian aid as a cover subversive activities well he's doing that with osi we told you that the shadow uh the shadow conventions the puppet master is putting on a show we've been an unwitting audience now the curtains are being lifted we're exposing the extent of his reach we see who he's surrounding himself with guy who's running his charitable arm is the founder of SDS, the guy who started SDS, which was responsible for all of the riots in the 60s. He's now the charity guy. You're seeing him build the shadow party. Again, his words, not mine. He funded the shadow party convention. For three days, this program has begun to lift the curtains. Well, where is the media? 
most Americans will dismiss that he's not a big threat. This is a conspiracy. Or with the millions of dollars that he spends, Glenn Beck is just lying. The shadow party, the shadow conventions, like God, he's invisible. In his own words, in his own words, he called it subversive activity. This is his addiction. But it moves from there. Back in a minute. We're talking about George Soros. It is all there. It is all so well financed, so deeply ingrained that no one, no one even notices it. And it is easy to dismiss, but please do not. The mainstream media does not expose it, and I know why. Look at the reach. Look at what you're up against. After my number two guy had a meeting with George Soros's number two guy about, what, four weeks ago, and they tried to convince me to shut up with a threat, he turns around and drops a million dollars off at Media Matters, who coincidentally joins a boycott against me and my advertisers the very same day. What a coincidence. But they're not alone. Media Matters, MoveOn.org, Tides Foundation, Van Jones, boycott, uh, Jim Wallace, a boycott. Who gets SCIU and AFL-CIO are involved as well? Who gets money from George Soros? Soros, 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 Soros. No connections that we know of here. Is that a coincidence? <sighs> Look, I know that soon, soon, the, the gates of hell are going to be opened up. I did this for a reason. Not for ratings, certainly. There's nothing more sexy than, you know, George Soros talk. I did it because I believe it. And I believe you need to know the only way to stop it is the sunlight. We could argue about this for days. I could present hours of evidence. But any thinking honest American can see smoke and fire. And I'm not going to convince those that are asleep or cry ignorance or bury their heads or are just playing left, right, Republican, Democrat politics. Ask yourself this. Could I put on three hours of television? with nothing but lies and smear and keep my job against the most powerful man and the most powerful groups in the world couldn't be done how do I know because I saw Orson Welles try to do it to William Randolph Hearst I know Orson Welles I read about his life he died alone broke and very fat in the end you go against that kind of power and you will be destroyed I get it. I've made my choice. This is Citizen Kane, but mine is not a movie. I wish it were. My three-hour epic has been just to do this. Please, go and find the truth yourself. Do not take my word for any of it. No tricks, no Hollywood. Him in his own words. It is time to take a stand. What this boils down to is a man with a lifetime of being consistent, of stating his goals and destroying currencies and countries, and then stating his goal that America and her currency is next. Well, we know he wasn't lying the last four times. We know he wasn't lying when he said he wanted to be invisible. It boils down to this. Which is a bigger leap of faith? That he is still telling the truth and executing his plan exactly the same way he has done four other times or this time he's lying about it and this is the exception america you have to decide because your children my children's freedom and the republic is at stake we have done so much research for these shows we have we have gone through everything for these shows i mean reams of paperwork you don't think the attorneys went through all of this stuff these shows are posted online at glenbeck.com and theblaze.com the transcripts everything is there the transcript of the cbs interview where he expresses how he has no regrets of being told to confiscate the property of his own people pretend that he wasn't one of them there's this book this is a must read David Horowitz, Richard Poe, does an amazing job of explaining how the radical left has infiltrated the Democratic Party. When you read this, it will 
you will understand. Richard Poe also wrote a special piece that is being sent out of my free email newsletter tomorrow at glenbeck.com. It shows an example of how George Soros interfered in Kenya in 2007 in the elections and how that interference played a role in creating complete chaos there. I want you to also do this. You don't listen to anybody and you just don't listen to what somebody, sells, somebody says about something and, and take my word for it or his word for it. Look for the original documents and the original reports. This is a document from the Committee of Un-American Activities, 1961. We talked about it a little bit yesterday. It features an essay explaining the radical's top-down, bottom-up theory. This was never supposed to be released. It was. We found it on microfilm in the public library. I'm going to put a copy out of it at uh, theblaze.com or glenbeck.com. You'll see it, but go to your library, see if you can get a microfilm copy of it. And finally, don't read just one point of view. Please, read the arguments. Decide for yourself. You've got George Soros on an open society. Um, you have uh, this one from George Soros. You have Alchemy of Finance. You have so many books on George Soros that you can read yourself. Read his point of view. Arm yourself with information. There is no, there is no harm in reading what the man has to say because it exposes him more than anything else. But there are other crucial steps that I'd ask you to take. And I'll outline those next.